you hear about people getting addicted to drugs and they say they have that first hit, you know, and uh, they spend the rest of their life trying to get that same feeling back. I think winning a big event like this is the same in a really sick way. Not condoning drugs in any way, shape or form. And <clears throat> there's no way any of them could be as good as winning a TT. I've been racing with Taz for, since the end of 2003, which is just over eight years now. So, yeah, this is going to be my 13th TT, so I've been doing it a long time. So. The Isle of Man's a dangerous place. You're absolutely on the limit, you know. Any time you go out to race a motorcycle, is dangerous. Like the Isle of Man, it's just, there's no place like it in the world, really, where you can go out on a public road and just go as fast as you can, it's like, or well, fast as you dare. It's just, just so fast, because you're still like, in between the trees and everything, it's just like tunnel vision as you shoot down through it. It's like, love going fast, so that's all part of it. Oh, the team I've got behind me is, uh, is a fantastic team. They're a really good bunch of guys. They're not just my mechanics and crew, they're my mates. Trusting the people that work on your bike literally is trusting the same people that would pack your parachute. It's exactly the same. You know, last year I flew off the island with my shoulder in a sling. And I remember looking down at the island and thinking, am I ever going to come back here? This is a crazy little place, this most beautiful island. And I remember thinking at the time, you know, I just, <laughs> I don't want to die on this piece of land either. It's, we're not out here playing a game, this is serious stuff, and we're messing with our lives. And I think you'd be a, few, a fool not to take it seriously and not to stop and reflect on that. I think a healthy fear keeps me sharp. If that fear ever comes debilitating, that's the time when I'm gonna hang up my leather and say, you know what, this is not for me anymore, you know, I've lost my nerve. That was then, and you gotta get over it. Been racing for a long time, beat myself up plenty of times. You just uh, jump back on and go back out for more, that's what we do. So I think the old man is the top road racing event. If we just go there, just, just want to conquer it, just like the guys that go to Mount Everest, they want to conquer it, and like at least 10 people a year get die there. It's just like, it's just part of it, you just want to go and do it. It really is a superhuman challenge with some serious consequences if you, if you mess up, and an unbelievably exciting high if you succeed and you make it and you get to the top. And that's what the top step at the Isle of Man's all about, you know, just to be able to stand there and say, you know, I'm here, I did it.